All praises to Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shai, Barsham Rakan Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson on how the Israelites are in a um, the Israelites are in a prototype stage of their um, of their development or their growth, man. Because when you say stuff like people find it people find it funny or amusing to hear that Israelites are going to live forever, or to hear that men are going to live forever, or for us to say that we're going to fly, right? For us to believe that we're going to fly one day, or for us to believe that we're going to be able to pick up tanks and throw them, people think that that's funny, right? But what about if I was to say that we're going to walk on water? Would people laugh at that? Because according to the scriptures, that's happened before from normal everyday men that had faith in the Lord, they walked on water, right? Men, men through faith in the Lord Yahweh have been able to defeat 800 men in battle by themselves. What's more believable? One man defeating 800 men in battle by himself or a man being strong enough to pick up a tank and throw it? Right? What's, what's more believable, man? And what do caterpillars do? Do caterpillars not go through a, um, a change, a metamorphosis, I believe the word is? Don't they go through a change where they go from crawling on the floor to becoming beautifully coloured and being able to fly? Don't they go from wriggling on the ra on the ground to flying? Don't caterpillars go for a process? So why, if caterpillars can go for a process by where they change, why can humans not go through that? Why is it that people think it's funny for humans to go through that, man? Why would they think that that's funny? Considering the human body, if you just go to the gym, right? A man that's fat can go to the gym f and after a year, he's unrecognizable. So therefore, if why would it be funny for a man to believe in a Lord and then be able to fly? The Israelites are in a prototype of their stage, man, or their development, right? This is First Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 26. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So the time's going to come where Israelite is no longer going to die anymore, right? The time's going to come where Israelites are going to be completely different to what they are. And what people need to recognize and realize is that the greatest version of what an Israelite actually is, he's not even present on the earth. He's sitting at the right hand side of Yahweh right now. But the greatest, the greatest of Edomites is on the earth right now. The greatest of the Ishmaelites is on the earth. The greatest of the Moabites, they're on the earth, right? The greatest of all the other nations outside of Israel is on the earth to be seen. But the greatest version of what an Israelite is, he's not even being seen yet. And let me prove that with the scripture. <clears throat> let me prove that with the scripture, man. This is First John chapter 3 and verse 2. Beloved, now we are the sons of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Right? So we ain't even the greatest version of what we can actually be. The actual, the actual end result of what we're going to be as Israelites has not even been seen on the earth yet. We're still in the prototype stage. Of our development man and let me let me explain why i'm saying that right because it's a it's a different way to say it but it's probably been said before numerous times before i've said this anyway right but i'm going to read this this is first Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 40 there are also celestial bodies and bodies terrestrial but the glory of the celest celestial is one and the glory of the terrestrial is another there is one glory of the sun and another of the moon and another of the stars for one star differeth from another star in glory, so also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in incorruption. Excuse me, it is sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is also there is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And right now we're in that natural body, man. Right, if you eat in, if you was to eat too much junk food right now, yeah, what's gonna happen is you're gonna wake up the next day feeling lazy and sluggish. Your your nose is gonna be full of mucus, right? You're gonna have to keep blowing your nose into toilet roll, right? You're gonna have to keep wiping your nose with a handkerchief or whatever. You're gonna start feeling sick, man. The back of your throat's gonna start itching. You're gonna start feeling sick. You're gonna start feeling lazy. If you're to drink a bit of too much alcohol. Right, and especially considering the type of alcohol that's available in this world, you're gonna feel sluggish, 
right? You're going to have a headache, right? You, you're not going to feel strong, man. If you're to try and run one mile at top speed right now, you might break your leg, man. You might pass, up, pass out, man. If you're to try and run sprint speed for one mile, it's not possible. There's not no human alive that can do that. That's why the 100 meters is a 100 meter race. If men was it possible to do that, even at 200 meters, they begin to slow down. Even 400 meters compared to the speed that 100 meters is run, is not even close to be comparable. But when the Israelites are on, the, on their final stage, right, it says that they shall run and not be weary in the scriptures. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 44. It is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. And so it is written, the first Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. How be it? That was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural. And afterward, that which is spiritual. So the first stage that you have to start at is the natural stage, which is this. This is the stage that's like a God, but dies like men. But the stage that we're going to form into is a stage that's like a God and lives like a God, which a God is immortal, right? But at the stage that we're in right now, we're like gods, but we die like men. We're weak right now, man. The strongest man on earth is still weak. And the strongest fighters, right, can still lose to a fighter 10 leagues, 10 leagues lower than them in strength. That can happen, man. A fighter that's supposed to win can lose to a fighter that's not even supposed to be on his level. He can lose, but then could never be able to replicate that same victory ever again. That happens, man. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 47. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As is the earth, as is the earthy, such are they that are earthy. And as is the heavenly, such are they also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. So it's a prototype stage. Right now, as it stands, Right, man. Right, right now, as it stands, right. Let me open this one. Man. Right now, right now, as it stands, we um. Right now, as it stands, we're in the prototype stage where we're earthy, and these bodies that we have, they're not immortal; they die. Right, but the stage that we're going into is going to be the stage where we're immortal. Right, verse forty-nine, and as we have borne the image of the earthy. We shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now I say then, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, neither doth corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall all be changed. For this corruptible must part in incorruption, and this mortal must part in immortality. So the bodies that we have right now, they're mortal and they're and they um they're they're corrupt. And people that think that their body's not corrupt and they think that they're righteous and that they haven't ever did anything wrong, well they're a liar. Right? Because if you haven't ever did anything wrong, you don't need a messiah. But if you accept that you have did things wrong before, then you accept that you do need a messiah, which is what we need, right? Verse 54. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of sin, excuse me, the sting of death is sin and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to Yahweh, which give us the victory through our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashayah. So that's the changing of the, of the prototype stage to that final stage, man. Of the Israelites going from being like what we are now, where we're gods that die like men, to being gods that live forever, like what a god would live like. And that's that's what this overall lesson has been about, man. That the Israelites in their in their current state is just this is just a prototype, man. This is not the this is not the um complete form of what Yahweh had intended for the Israelite man. 
right? He always intended for them to be diff completely different to this, right? And in fact, let me get a scripture on that because he didn't intend for every single person that's human to be like this. The Israelites had got a different, a different um, end than everybody else because they're the chosen. This is Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2 and verse 23. For, you, for God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity, right? The, it, the overall plan for what a man was supposed to experience on earth was for them to be immortal, man. That's the overall plan. And the only nation that's going to experience that is the Israelites. It's not going to be the, it's not going to be the Ishmaelites that are going to experience It's not going to be Moab. It's only Israel. They're the only people that are going to experience that, man. No other nation is going to be given that, that gift of immortality like the Israelites have been given. Right, and I'm gonna end the lesson there. All praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Rakhakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawan to the to the nation of Israel. Shalawan.